Congratulations. 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 Like, comment, subscribe. I'm going to right there. Smash like. That right there is now our advertisement. I'm just cut out the like, comment, subscribe. It's just going to be that. Damn on that bell. Dab on that bell. Hey everybody, welcome back. Today I want to talk about spring. So actually the first day of spring was last week. Ah, <laughs> oh, we missed it. Just a little bit. But beans. that gives us enough time to get yeah, ready for frank. that pesky time change where we lose an hour. But we have more sunlight. And oh hours. shit, I <laughs> fucked that up. <laughs> what did... I said we had more hours and more light. <laughs> <laughs> well, we lose an hour because we spring for The world, <laughs> now with more hours and more light. <laughs> that sounds great. <laughs> So I did a little uh, a little list, 10 ways to get ready for spring 2020. Oh, well, it's... I'm ready for a Britney list. Yeah. I, I do you, like how prepared you are for this, both as uh, with your list yeah. and your appearance. Yeah. You're yeah. Very it's a well, it's a good excuse to wear the flower crown. So. Okay, yeah. cool. Yeah. Is, this a, is this a top 10 list? Yes, it's a top 10 Great. list. Holy shit. Top 10 list with Britney Saturn. Beep, beep, beep. <laughs> Yeah, so Brian, I came up with this idea, and Brian was like, make it marketable, and I was like, okay. <laughs> uh, so the first one on my list is, now is the time, declutter your fucking house. Like, seriously, if you have a shit in a pile, and you're like, I'm gonna fix it, or I just need to, like, do the thing, just just get rid of it. And you that, don't need it. That's why I have a pile of shirts I'm taking <laughs> yep, to the Goodwill Just get rid of there. it. Now's the time. I, I got, got another boxes. Tupperware to, boxes? No, tower boxes. Oh, oh. <laughs> I do have Tupperware boxes. <laughs> I got a bookshelf because I have too many stacks of books throughout my apartment because I'm a fucking nerd, <laughs> but not a nerd who's good at finishing books. Mm, yeah. yeah. But yeah, seriously though, like it's hard to get rid of stuff, but once you do, you won't miss it. That sounds like the son of someone who owns a bookstore. That's... You just, it's a curse placed on me by my family. You yep. just sell them back to your dad so that he can sell them. He doesn't do used books. Oh, that's too bad. That's, <laughs> that's where all the good smells come from. It's the used books. <laughs> mm. I've got a, a box of stuff that uh, I've been meaning to take to the Goodwill. I need to throw mm -hmm. some more DVDs in there and just get it out. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Um, <laughs> fucking, like, donate you that shit. You absolutely do, yes. Donate that shit, or if it's trash, throw it away. Like, we got a new mattress it, for Christmas, and we had, like, our old mattress hanging around the house. And I called the city dump because they have, like, a free pickup. Mm. And we just put it outside, mm. and it was so awesome to see it go. I was like, goodbye, you stupid mattress. You're old and <laughs> It was dirty. also the worst day ever for It was super rainy. It was pouring rain. Yeah, it felt really bad. Out. That's a good squishy mattress. Yeah. 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 We, we, uh, we threw um, that to old mattress that was in the garage. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we we took it to the actual, like, dump. It's got, like, a um, big, like, conveyor belt thing. Just throwing it in there oh, and watching yeah. it get squished. Nice. It was great. I love it. Mm -hmm. All right, the second thing on my list is detox your social media feed. And what I mean by that is that if you have anybody on your social media that you fucking hate and you're tired of seeing their shit, <clears throat> unfollow them or unfriend them, whatever. Uh, if it's like a coworker and you'll get in like a sticky situation just if you do unfriend them, them <laughs> just block them, you or cowards. Or just hide them. No, just uh, unfollow them and then you can set your privacy settings on all your posts so that it doesn't include mm. that person can't see it. So it'll just look like you haven't posted anything. But, like, why follow people that make you upset? Yeah. Fuck them. Yeah. Fuck them right in the ass. <laughs> Unless that's what they want, then... Then don't fuck don't them in the ass. ass. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and while we're on computer stuff, because we all, like, live in the digital age now, declutter your desktop. Like, mm -hmm. like clean, <clears throat> clean the dust out of your case fans? Yes. Yeah, that too. That too. Mm. But, like, delete your unused files and organize the important mm. ones and clear out your recycling bin, because... I think it's junked up. Mm. I did, I, I, I How many bits and bytes are disc. trash on your computer? Bits and bytes and cookies and wingle waggles. I don't know. The oh, wingle those waggles are, those are computer words, yes. <laughs> yeah, computer words. <laughs> and that goes for phones, too. Like, if you have, like, weird files or pictures you don't need on your phone, clean it out. Right. Change your wallpaper, you savages! Like <laughs> I really it's like a year. Had, it's I've like three same, years of the same background. I've had like a four four years now of the same background. Get a facelift. I've already hit like the max on like iCloud storage, so I don't know if I should wow. delete. Yeah. Well, I, and I'm signing for like the 50, 50 gig plan or whatever. Oh, okay, so, so we're a little bit more than that. Okay, I, I thought about upping it. 
but I, I when I upped mm. it, I had like five people on my plan. So oh, okay, mm. gotcha. So this one gotcha. I was a little <laughs> skeptical about, um, but I tried it and it worked like really fantastically. Uh, if you get a lot of spam calls on your phone, put your number on the do not call list. Then I have a number here. We can put it up on the screen. I'll I'll tell you what it is. It's one eight 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 three eight two one two two two. Um, I found this number and I bought a planner for the new year and they gave me a list of like ways to organize your life. Um, and one of them was to put your number on this do not call list. I was skeptical, but I did it anyway. And my spam calls have went from like, I hardly have any. I maybe got like two in the last month and I used to get multiple every single day. Hmm. So that's cool. That, that, well, that's based really cool. on if if whoever is doing it actually abides by it because I feel like most of the ones that will do it nowadays just don't. Well, well yeah. they had a so I don't recall exactly what they said when I called. It's just like an automated message, but they said that like if anybody calls you and they're not supposed to, you can report them to this like agency and they'll get in trouble like with the government or whatever. Yeah, well, the also, government police will come and arrest them. Oh, and the government. They can only have government cheese. <laughs> the, well, the, see, the other problem with that is is they're they're doing. A lot of like number spoofing so mm -hmm. a lot of numbers that i get calling me they have the same like first six digits that i do and so mm -hmm. you, it's i know that it's it's a spam because on that next level spam call <laughs> because they, i get so much shit on really yeah. well you should try it anyway just to see if it, i'm already if on it, it yeah oh you're already on it yeah I, I uh so it works for some people and for others it doesn't like i hear uh, i i said the same thing to some of my uh co-workers mm -hmm. and 50 percent of them were like yeah, cool, awesome, and it worked for them, and the other yeah. half were, like, kind of the same thing, huts yeah. here, and, like... I'm well, I so tried it, and it worked for me, so I think if... Give it a shot! Yeah, give yeah. it a shot, and what it. happens, like, can't promise anything, but... There, there is another thing that uh, I... So, I have AT&T, and they have this mm -hmm. app called uh, Call Protect, yeah. um, and so that basically screens your calls. If it's a known, like, number for telemarketing, it I've will, got like, Google Fi. It does that natively. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, I, I get I've been some, seeing spam and telemarketing Yeah, I get come some up. that literally say like spam risk right yeah call. exactly so, yeah mm -hmm. it's nice yeah um this is one like when the weather is nice but it's not too hot outside yet and the pollen hasn't happened open your windows and just air out your house <clears throat> Because all winter, because your shit stink. Yeah, your shit stink all winter yeah. long. You're like your air just gets stuffy. It'll be really nice to get some like clean, fresh air in the house, clean air in the house, clean breeze for real. That's actually one of my favorite things about uh, both fall and spring mm -hmm. is just when being the able to open up the windows. Just air, yeah, just yeah. air. Mm -hmm. Air feels good. It smells good. The concept good. of air, it's nice. When the weather, understand, to our understand life. the concept of air. Oh my god. <laughs> We can't get through a single day without that, can we? <laughs> That's a Jet Set Radio Future reference. Oh, great. <laughs> well, I feel fantastic. What's next, Brittany? All right, number six is get that fucking D. The vitamin D. <laughs> oh. I mean, I knew nice. <laughs> Great. So, yeah, just take a moment to go outside. Um, you take a walk or you just can enjoy the sunshine for like five minutes outside. Um, there are a few things as embarrassing as getting your physical and they look at you and go like, you, you have a vitamin D deficiency. We're, we're going to have to give you pharmaceutical grade <laughs> vitamin D because your bones are going to get rickets. Yeah. You fucking idiot. Oh. So I, all of us, a lot of people work inside without windows. <laughs> For a year, I had no windows in yeah. my office. So now and I do. And it's when great. I worked in retail, too, like I didn't go outside at all. And I wasn't near the windows and not have to get vitamin D. So. She just walked to the car and she came into work before the sun came up and left after the sun went down. Yeah. So. That's pretty much what happened. You just lived a sad <laughs> darkness life. He's so, and a basically lot of, a vampire. A lot of people get like seasonal depression, and I think that part of like just the seasonal depression aspect is that we have less light, and we get home, and it's dark, and I just want to go to bed. But it's something about when I get home and it's still light out, I'm like, let's go do stuff. I have a lot of energy, mm -hmm. but in the winter, I just want to hibernate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I'm like, definitely. I want to be in a sad ball. <laughs> Just cry myself <laughs> to sleep. I don't want to cry in a sad ball because it's dark outside. Yeah, so get some of that vitamin D. It's good for you. Mm. Um, and go along with that, number seven, um, just wash your windows um, <laughs> to let the light in. Uh, and wash. So this is something that I did that was really awesome. We washed the overhead lighting globes, you know, that fits on like your ceiling fans or, mm. or whatever overhead lighting. Uh, we took ours down to change the light bulb and realized it was super fucking dirty. And I just ran it through the dishwasher 
and it was perfectly clean, no scrubbing. Mm. And I put it back up, and it's super bright now. We also upgraded our light bulbs too. <laughs> Um, and join the led bulbs. revolution make sure that you're changing your air filters <laughs> oh yeah so yeah. like i did i've never lived in a house with central air and heat until like our apartment together, our yeah. little apartment and we'd never changed the filter system because i didn't know you had to yeah. and our fucking air conditioner like froze up because it wasn't getting enough air oh uh sucked into it so we were super hot for like a week waiting for the maintenance guy to come and he was <laughs> like yeah you need to change your air filters he like super shamed us because he was like fucking millennial um, so yeah, you that's should, why you don't own houses. Make sure that you're changing your air filter once a month. Um, and a tip I learned: uh, if you want your house to smell good, you can put a couple of drops of essential oil on your clean air filter, and it'll make your house smell good. Ew. Yeah, that if sounds like to. a great tip. Yeah, it's wow. it's pretty cool. We've like been it. using that, and we <laughs> recently got a diffuser that we put in our bedroom. Mm-hmm. So when we sleep, it's very calming, which has been really nice. How yeah. do your cats do with that? Aren't they allergic? To, to essential oils or some shit? They don't seem to no. be. Yeah, okay. Actually, they kind of, well, like at first, Beans was just like <laughs> going through it, going to town. So, number eight is um, plant herbs. 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 Plant herbs. Plant herbs. Because there's a fucking H in it. <laughs> I know, right? Plant herbs on your, yeah, your patio or windowsill. Um, some herbs that are really easy to plant um, and are really great for cooking. Uh, basil, oregano, uh, thyme, sage, rosemary, chives, parsley, cilantro, mint. Mint is a little Careful bit different. You have to keep mint in a pot because it will take over the entire flower bed. Mm. Most of these herbs, uh, you can water them little to moderate, um, but mint loves water, so you can probably never over water mint <clears throat> mint's a wet slug um and aloe vera is another <laughs> a great one it's not uh it's not culinary but definitely great for sunburns um these are just little things you can put on your porch it's really nice to actually care for a plant we did this a lot when we lived with hutch actually mm-hmm. hutch has a bunch of really great huge flower beds and i think you still have a rosemary bush right now and probably i think you took down the lemongrass but the lemon bomb? I, yeah. I don't know. I haven't touched that corner. Oh, okay. going in that backyard. <laughs> I don't go outside. What are you talking about? Yeah, he, he doesn't want to dig at all. <laughs> um, well, this will give you a good excuse to go outside too, tending to your herbs and stuff every day. And super easy. Like in, It makes your cooking so much better. Having the basil and having a uh, rosemary just right outside mm-hmm. was mm-hmm. super great, especially for cooking breakfast and cooking steaks. Yeah. They were, it was really so nice. So basically just pinch the leaves off and wash them and then you can just put them in your food. Um, you can also dry them out by just putting them in a uh, like a pan and put them in the oven. Mm-hmm. 350 for like, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes till it's dry and crispy. Yeah, and that's what we did for parsley. Mm-hmm. And we yeah. would crunch it up and put it in a thing like another, dried parsley. Another mm. thing I like to do is, because um, we have cats, I like to grow catnip and cat grass. Uh, and those are both really easy. Cat grass, I really don't know the difference between cat grass and regular grass. It looks the same to me. I think it's just marketing. But if you cut the tender, like, little pieces off, cats love to eat that shit. Yeah. And catnip, of course, gets them high. So We had so many cats, like, fighting in our catnip bush when we lived with Hutch. Yeah, it was, we had a bunch <laughs> of, like, neighborhood cats that would come and lay in the bush and it, like, would fuck it up. So. Yeah, just con- they would just, like, eat it and just, like, oh, sm- it's like if someone laid in pot. Mm-hmm. <laughs> just like had a pot bed <laughs> that sounds great <laughs> yeah, I'm super into it um, number nine is just take some time for yourself like we're all busy with super busy schedules like take some time to just do something you want to do I'm really bad about being like oh, I gotta do this other thing first like it's my chore and then as my reward yeah. I get to do my me thing but I've it just, gets to where I never do the me thing because I'm never done with my chores. Yeah. So yeah. I've had to just go ahead and schedule me thing. Uh-huh. Like, okay, uh, it sounds terrible, but I'm like, this night I'm playing video games. Yeah. And even if I don't end up playing video games, I do whatever the fuck I feel mm-hmm. like. And you're but, not bound to something that you feel obligated to yeah, do. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm yeah. trying to get better at that. Mm-hmm. It's hard. Yeah, it's like, really hard. And Especially- not feel guilty about it, too. Yeah. You know? So yeah. for me right now, I really want to like play more No Man's Sky. But every time I decide to play No Man's Sky, I don't want to play No Man's Sky. So- I really want to play Red Dead Redemption 2. Yeah. But... Every time I sit down to play games, I just play Legends of Runeterra. Okay. I don't even know what that is. It's the League of Legends card game. Oh, okay. Oh. Nice. <clears throat> Fucking nerd. I can't yeah. say I, I can't I can't say shit. I've been bouncing around with like 
Fortnite, it, thanks to you. And, You're welcome. <laughs> and just waiting for Animal Crossing. Did you guys see that new um, uh, Riot game? It's it's basically Counter Strike, but it's more. It's got more um, kind of Overwatch themes. It's, it's kind of yeah. like a cross between the two. It looks really cool. Yeah, they're just trying to come for Blizzard's launch. Yeah. yeah. Well, what's your last Valve. thing? Last one. We got 17 seconds left. Uh, the last one is the star. The sun is a fuck star that wants to kill you. So make sure that you stay hydrated and wear sunscreen mm. as the weather warms up. You know, so, uh, so I've been advice. watching a lot yeah. of beauty tutorials and everyone's just like, I don't give a fuck if you do anything else. Yeah. Wear sunscreen. Wear sunscreen. We're done. Particularly your face and don't forget your hands. Yeah. Yeah. Your hands will show your age more than anything else. <laughs> Minor. I need I need lotion on mine. Yeah. Scene. <laughs>